It's time for the final fact, and it is Michael's. My fact is 100% pasteurized brilliance. This is gonna surprise you guys, but it's also gonna delight you. Cows with names produce more milk than cows that don't have names. Did you know that? No. I believe it's pronounced mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> so How do they know they have a name? Cows happen to be dumb, but uh, it's, it, well, you say it to them. Yeah, right. you, say, you say their name. Hey, Bessie. But why don't you say, what's up, girl? And like, you forget their name. Like, you run into the cow on the street. You're like, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know their name. And the cow goes along with it, but inside is like, oh, yes. this guy. <laughs> yeah. Never remembers my name. <laughs> so that, yeah, so you're saying basically it's affection? Basically, more relaxed cows, more loved cows. Right. Produce more milk because they're more relaxed. Uh -huh. And uh, So if you love on a cow, it'll give back. I'm not right. exactly <laughs> saying that. I'm not exactly okay. saying that. Right. That kind of makes sense, right? Because like plants, like if you talk to your plants, they grow more. Mm -hmm. If you uh, talk to your kids, they you, grow more. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I haven't been doing. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I didn't, we didn't name our third kid, and... <laughs> Doesn't give you a lot of milk. Not doing so well. <laughs> Not doing so well. All right, well, folks, prepare to watch the best fact of the night, courtesy of me. Cows. Lovely, aren't they? No? Just me? Fair enough. But we all like a latte in the morning, right? Well, for that, we owe cows some thanks. Maybe we could treat them a little more like equals by giving them names. But is it true that cows with names will produce more milk? Cows are intelligent animals, and just as humans respond better to the personal touch, so do cows. And improving the human-animal relationship on that farm will lead to happier cows, less stressed cows, which will be better behaved and produce more milk. I find that utterly fantastic. So. Let's put it to the test. To do this, we'll need two separate dairy herds. First up is farmer Mark Billingham. I've got 89 milking cows. They're all individuals, all have personality, and I know everyone by name. There's Baby, Penny, Nora, Dazzle, Fanny. Oh, such lovely names. At least there's no Blue Ivy or Northwest in the bunch. Anyway, at our second farm, it's a different story. None of my cows have names. They're cows, not people. Meet Mark Taylor and his herd of nameless cows. There's 820, 118, 37, 821, 123. You get the picture. 